All right, today's video is long overdue because you guys have been asking for this for probably at least a year now. And that is, can Flex Seal fix a flat tire? What I'm gonna do is I have three different types of tires. I have this, I don't know if you can see the tread. I have this like uh, light duty trailer tire. And then I have these two tires. This one is like a wheelbarrow tire and then I'm not exactly sure what this one is. Probably goes to like a like a cart or like a dolly or something maybe. These are three three different types of tires. Obviously. What I'm, what I'm trying to say about three different types of tires is like the trailer tire is like a heavy duty tire. This is like medium and then this is like light duty. So what I'm gonna do is, I was gonna stab a hole in them, but I want the holes to be consistent for each one. So I'm gonna drill two holes into each tire. One, of course, is gonna be with Flex Seal, or I'm gonna spray it and seal it up with Flex Seal. And the second one, since, since we're doing Flex Seal, I know I'm sure there's at least half of you that wanna see if Flex Glue will do it. We're gonna do kill two birds with one stone, do one hole with Flex Seal, one hole with Flex Glue, and we'll see if they hold. All right, so let's start drilling some holes in some tires. I wanna try to do this where you can see it. We're gonna be using a drill bit that is uh, like that big. My plan is I'm just gonna drill between the tread. Two holes, quick and easy. Let all the air leak out. Now we have a flat tire. So we got one hole right there. We'll do another hole, see right here. All right, there's two holes in that one. Now let's go for the wheelbarrow tire. This one doesn't say tubeless. I was thinking it was tubeless, but it kind of sounded like, kind of sounded like there was a tube in there. Uh, I think I can feel a tube. Well, that kind of sucks. I thought it was tubeless. We'll drill two holes anyway, just in case, just in case it's not tubeless, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it is. Two holes in that one. And last but not least, two holes for this one. Let's put the first one here. This one sounds like it has a tube in it too. Maybe I didn't think this through. I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> Not thought my videos through. Now this one's got two holes in it too. All right, as you can see, we have our trailer tire with the hole right there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the flex glue and then just pack it inside that hole. And then, then we'll do that to each one and then we'll come back and spray them with the, the flex seal. Flex glue might have dried up on me a little bit here. All right, so it appears that the flex glue has dried up, so we're just gonna have to make a sacrifice. We'll just cut the tube open. Give a nice little finger full, like silicone. And we can just kinda pack it in there. There we go. Oh, that'll do pretty good. Now it's time for the same thing here. You can see the hole. Let's get ourselves a nice, uh, a nice glob of Flex glue, just pour it right in there, work it into the tread. It'd be really funny if somebody opened a tire repair shop and you went in there and this is what they did. They just opened a tube of Flex glue and just packed it into the tire. All right, that should be good. All right, you know the drill by now. The hole's right here, pack it full of Flex glue, full of Flex glue. All right. All right, you guessed it. Now it's time for the flex seal. All right, so now that everything is applied, what we're gonna do is just like we always do, we're gonna wait 24 hours, let everything dry, then we'll hook everything up to the air compressor and see if they hold. All right, it is time for the moment of truth. I don't remember how long I said it was gonna be, but it's been two days. So that has been plenty of time for these to dry. And I did end up putting, I think three layers of Flex Seal on each one, just to make sure that it was, give it the best chance possible of holding. I have this little air pump that plugs into a cigarette lighter, which I have here, then this. We'll get screwed onto here and we'll see if it holds air. 
screw this bad boy on. And I'm going to turn this on. We'll see if it holds. No. It's already leaking from somewhere. Yeah, it's leaking, leaking from the flex seal. I don't think it's leaking from the flex glue though. Let's go ahead. Yeah, it's definitely leaking from the flex seal. Uh, I can, about 11 and a half PSI is about the most they can get. I guess the leak's just too bad. But it's definitely, I only hear it leaking out of the, out of the flex seal side. So the flex glue might work. So that's kind of a disappointment. It couldn't even hold like two PSI. And now these, I think these are probably gonna be another disappointment because like I said before, whenever I let the air out of them, I could feel that they kind of felt like they had a tube in them, but they don't, nowhere on the tire doesn't say that it has a tube, but it also doesn't say that it's tubeless. So what's weird about this one is, even when I turn this pump on, you can see. You can see it gets up to 4.5, but it doesn't, it never goes past 4.5. And then whenever you turn it off, I don't hear anything. Maybe the hole inside the tube is just so big that it's not, you know, there's not a small enough hole for me to actually hear any air. But like I thought, I'm pretty sure this thing has a tube in it. So now I guess we'll move on to this third one. I'm sure it's probably going to be a disappointment just like the other ones because I'm pretty sure that it has a tube inside of it. Yeah, this one has the same story. It's only getting up to 5.5 PSI but I, I still don't hear any leaks. So what I wanna do is I wanna take these two tires, even though I'm 99.9% .9 sure that there is a tube in both of these tires, I wanna take both of them and I wanna cut them open and see what's inside. All right, so let's use the katana and cut some tires open. I, I don't know if this thing's sharp enough to cut through tires. Oh wow, it's actually digging. Maybe if I pinch it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Huh. Maybe I get this thing off of the, the rim. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just have to cut it out in chunks. Ugh. You can see right there. If you can get out of here. That right there is the tube. So there's definitely a tube in here. So that's all I wanted to know. So let's do this one. Confirm that there is a tube in here. All right, yep, right there it is. Right there's the tube. So, both of those did have tubes, just like, just like I suspected. All right, so what did we learn? Well, even though Flex Seal is made of rubber and tires are made of rubber, you cannot fix a flat tire with Flex Seal, which, you know, <laughs> not really surprising but it would have been, that would have been extremely cool if it would have just held 
like just 10 or 15 PSI. That would have been really cool. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.